Ternary plots are a way of displaying the distribution and variability of three-part compositional data. So for example, if you have a triangle and then you have sand, clay, and then let's say silt, soil composition, then you can use that triangular axis to see the composition of um, the soil. If it has, let's say 20% that, 10% that, 5% that. So we're gonna use the Pogo Jam data. You can come to help and then sample data and then just type pogo jump double click and open this data so once you have the table this is a jump you have the finalists who um, were participants in the in the jump competition and these were their scores and then this is also the total score so let's come to graph and then tenary plot and then we want to put in the x plotting. So you want to put in the jumps and then you put x. So these are the jumps. So once you're done, you just hit OK. And then you have the ternary plot. So you have the yacht and then the sam and then the yi over here and then to edit this this is pretty much the same you just come in here and you can show a color theme you can um uh, just change this accordingly and then you can also right click in the graph and one of the things that you can do here is the row legend so this color the rows according to the data so you can just come on in and go to so you go to finalist and then this is how it looks like so everything is round right now so you come to marker and you hit standard and you see that the markers change and you can see there is hollow there is solid there is paired there is classic and then you can also do alphanumeric as well but let's do something like solid and then you can make the window with legion and also save the column property save to table property exclude rows and just have that here then you can close this one because we have that so now we can see the changes more emphatic and clearly you can see here that Jiao has three jumps here and one jump there, which is of course. So that is something to note. You can also see this cluster for Ko and then you see one jump was off. So that is something to note, but you can see that most of the time their jumps are together on all three tries. So that's how you do the compositional change. Another thing I didn't talk about was the formula. So if you come to redo and then you go to relaunch analysis, there was a contour formula over here. So let's let's use a different set of data. Let's use um, a data called fish party. So you can also search that from the sample library and then just double click on the fish party. So here you're making um a party with these three fish fishes and they have different compositions so 0 0.5.51 so and then the temperature you cook at and this is the rating but then this is a formula that you can use on so this was a predicted rating based on this so you can put that in as a column so if you come into graph and then you go to ternary and then let's do our x plotting as these three and then for the formula let's choose the predicted rating and then hit ok so we have the prediction right here and then we also have the color scale so you see that anything that falls here is going to be a higher rating and then anything that falls here is going to be in the middle um, we can add some color to it so that it makes it more emphatic 
for us you can also right click on here and once you're done with that you see we have um the temperature dial and then you can use that if you from the model that we have if you change temperature where is the written so we see the 5.5 is here and then if you change the temperature to and you can also type exact number in here where does it fall accordingly so you can also put that in here perfectly